And I took a team of about 15 or 20 intercessors to our state capitol. This is mm-hmm. back in 2004. Mm-hmm. We were praying in the Rotunda area. The legislature was not in session. And uh, the sergeant, we weren't making a lot of noise, but the sergeant at arms of the House of Representatives came out and asked one of our people, and I didn't happen to see him. He said, what are you doing? And they said, well, we're praying and casting out devils. <laughs> well, he said... Well, coming here to the House of Representatives, we got lots of devils in here in the house. Oh, my. So, at the official invitation. At least he didn't the, throw you out. No, he didn't throw. He said, come on in. We, we, we need you. So at his invitation, we had the that chamber of the House of Representatives in Oklahoma all to ourselves for an hour to an hour and a half. We prayed over every desk and ordered every chair with oil took communion and made our declarations about bail, and then we left. Well, four months later, in November of 2004, for the first time since Oklahoma became a territory in 1889, born-again conservative Christians took over the majority of the House of Representatives, wow. and things have not been the same ever wow. since. In 2006, we did virtually the same thing in the Oklahoma Senate with similar results, in 2008, the majority, I mean, these are all the newly elected representatives and then senators all gave a clear testimony that Jesus Christ was their Lord and Savior. And then in 2008, the majority increased. In 2010 now, all of our state executive branch officials, all those elected ones are all born again Christians who love the Lord and our state is prospering like never before. I mean, things have really changed. Well, well in fact, yeah, just economically, uh, yeah, you have a born-again governor, yes. right, Mary and we Fallon. led her in the baptism of the Holy Spirit years yeah, ago. Yeah, and Mary Fallon, and is the lieutenant governor Lieutenant also? governor Todd Lamb also is a friend of ours. He just came and we prayed for him numerous times, the attorney general, the speaker of the house. They're wonderful people who love the Lord and they want to see transformation in our city and in our state.